If you want to see how we build this van for 6,000 US dollars, you are in the right place. We bought this particular van for 2,600 US dollars. We decided at the beginning what car we want and we decided for this jumper, boxer and Ducados for their boxy shape that is ideal for conversion and also amount of secondhand spare parts online. We researched online market inside out to understand really what is the average trading price. We went to take a look at a couple of cars to see what's the average condition. Based on all of these, it's easy to recognize good deal and make a good purchase. Then it was just a waiting time because you pretty much compete businesses, right? That buy and sell cars. So we were, I was just seriously living online like a full-time job, researching cars and new listings a couple of times a day and waiting for the good deal. And then one morning I found this that was close to half of the average price. What I would recommend to you is research the market. You need to know and you need to understand good price, good car. Second thing, you need to have somebody with you who understands cars. Whether it's your friend or you can pay $40 uh, for a mechanical check. Third thing, always negotiate. There's always option and you always should be pushing the price as low as possible. In average, we worked on a car 12 to 14 hours a day, six days a week. And after that, every evening, I spent good two hours online comparing prices. I try to order as many parts as possible online because it's cheaper. I realize what I need first and then I find solution for it. Let me give you a few examples. I wanted at least 100 liters of water, but all these water tanks are way too expensive and way too small. So I built myself from uh, water barrels. I wanted roof windows, way too expensive. So I went to a scrap yard and bought us uh, cheap secondhand ones. Uh, we wanted a laptop holder, so I bought a kitten litter and shaped it to my need. We wanted a little pockets for our cords, so we just bought a Tupperware and shaped it for our need. We wanted a gray paint job, so we just bought a paint in a local paint shop and just rolled it on. The list goes on and on like swivel seats, way too expensive mechanisms, so I found uh, cheaper secondhand seats that came with swivels and I just welded stands to fit them into our van. It's constantly the thinking outside of a box that you don't need to buy parts specifically for a vehicle. There's always a way how to make it cheaper. And that mentality you need to apply for your round project to be able to save money. I spent previous few months and a lot of money setting up my workshop that helps me so much with projects like this van or my e-bikes. With time, I gather all the material. That means I did a lot of previous furniture jobs and I kept all the offcuts. I found now and then bits and pieces like a fabric, polycarbonate, just different materials that I gather that always find use with time. This car is a great example. I didn't spend any money on all the cabinetry you see inside. I found a huge roll of uh, fabric and I used it in the entire car. It's a black fabric that I was able to cover everything with. But the biggest money saver were trades, including all the mechanical fixing, all the furniture, wiring, plumbing and painting. What I would recommend to you how to save money on this is research as much as possible how to do things yourself. If you have that option, surround yourself with people that know that might give you great advices or might lead you through the process of making it. It's good to have somebody on call asking about following steps, if that's okay, how you want to approach it. Don't pay for easy solutions instead of think and try to do it yourself. Don't try to finish it in the first week. This is evolving modular project as we see it. We live in this van for six months and I'm able to have daily tasks still improving and making this van even better.
If you want to see where this camper is parked right now, follow Margaret's Instagram at Curly Hair Camping and mine at Panorama Man. See you in the next video.